First of all, what is a palindrome? A palindrome is a word, number, phrase, or other sequence of characters which reads the same backwards as forwards. We will give two solutions to this problem. In the first solution, we will use built in JavaScript methods to solve this problem. First, we will take the input string, use the split method to turn it into an array of characters, then we will reverse this array and then create a string from it using the join function. We will compare our original string with the reversed one and see if they are match. If they are equal, then we found the palindrome. Let's jump into the editor and implement this function. Let's start by creating our function. I use a function expression here. It will receive a string as a parameter. Now we will write a regular expression to identify every character that is not an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, or a number. We will use this regular expression to remove these characters from our string. This cleaning is only required if you want to test sentences for palindromes. If you just want to use words, then you will find skipping this step. Now we will use the replace function to replace any characters that was matched by our regex and replace it with an empty character, remove it from the string. In the end, we will convert every character to lowercase so we can have consistent comparisons. Now we will use the split method to convert our string to an array and store it in the split array variable. Now it's time to test what we got. First, I'm going to create a function call and call my isPalindrome function with a palindrome. Let's log our clean string and split array variables to the console. If we run our script, you can see that every whitespace and special character was removed from our string. If we log split array, we'll see that our string was successfully splitted into an array of characters. Let's continue our implementation with reversing our split array. We will use a built-in JavaScript array method called reverse. After we reversed our array, we only have to create a string from it using the built-in join function. Let's check out our reverse string by logging it to the console. You can see that our reverse string is equal to our clean string, which means that we found the palindrome. Let's write this logic that our function will return true if the provided string is a palindrome and false if it's not. Now if we log the return value of our function, we get true. We can make our code much cleaner and more professional looking by not using new variables in each step to store our intermediate values. We will chain our functions so they will use each other's return value as a parameter. Now we can verify that our function works properly, providing more use cases and see if it returns an expected value. Try giving palindromes and non-palindrome strings and see if it works properly in both cases. In our second solution, we will use a for loop. We will start by comparing the first character with the last one, and in every iteration, we will move one step closer to the middle of the string. If we reach to the middle of the string successfully, and every two characters were equal, then we found the palindrome. Let's implement this function too. Now let's implement our second solution using for loop. We will clean our string as in the previous solution. Now we will add our for loop. We will start the index from zero, and as we compare two characters in each iteration, we only need half of the string length iterations, so we will loop until index is greater than the length of the string divided by two. In every iteration, we will check if the characters in symmetric distances are equal or not. If they are not equal, we will return false immediately because it won't be a palindrome. If they are equal, we will continue our loop. If we successfully finished our loop and didn't return false, then we found a palindrome and returned true. You can verify that our function works properly by logging its return value to the console and trying it with different strings. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. 
If you found it useful or learned anything new, please consider subscribing to this channel. You can also drop a like if you wish and leave feedback in the comment section below. I see you folks in the next video.